outreach regarding station job vacancies. Organizations that wish to receive our vacancy information should contact KTLA 5 Human Resources. I'm attorney Sean Lalazari, and I'm attorney Servin Lalazari. If you get hit by a big truck, don't trust the insurance company, call us. We're, We're the, the Law Brothers. Brothers. These big companies have big insurance policies, but they'll do everything they can to pay you as little as possible. My brother and I will fight them to get you the big money that you deserve. Call us. We're, We're the Law Brothers. Brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. It's Ford's Black Friday Sellathon. With your trade-in, you can lease the 2023 Ford F-150 for a low $389 a month. Plus, you can get a $500 Amazon.com gift card. Get here fast. The Ford Black Friday Sellathon ends on Cyber Monday. Afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And today for Pedro Rivera. Right now, 11 more former hostages once held in Gaza are on their way to reunions with their families. And the truce that gained their freedom now extended with the planned release of 20 more hostages over the next two days. The first steps of freedom, 11 newly released hostages safely back in Israel tonight. Among them, 34-year-old Sharon Cuneo and her three-year-old twins, along with eight others, in all nine children and two women. We'd certainly like to see even that extension extended further uh, until all the hostages are released. That's really the goal here, get all the hostages home with their families where they belong. All of those set free today are Israelis. There were no Americans released. On Sunday, four-year-old Abigail Adan, whose parents were killed in the October 7th attack in Israel, became the first U.S. citizen freed. After seven weeks of captivity, the hostages will be evaluated by doctors and then Israeli defense forces will help reunite them with their anxious families. Despite the diplomatic breakthrough, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stressed the ceasefire is only temporary and Israel will resume its attacks to crush Hamas. With regard to the hostages, we are continuing with the outline as agreed and we are also continuing with the main goal we said to bring about the release of our hostages to complete the elimination of Hamas. This is the fourth group to be set free. In exchange, Israel has released 117 Palestinian prisoners over the past three days. The White House today confirming nine Americans are still being held captive. President Biden Sunday saying he is working to bring them home. This is the day-by-day -day approach, hour-by-hour -hour process. Nothing is guaranteed and nothing is being taken for granted. But the proof that this is working and worth pursuing further is in every smile and every grateful tear we see on the faces of those families who are finally getting back together again. While no Americans were free today, there is hope that at least some of the nine still being held might be released over the next two days. The man suspected of shooting three college students of Palestinian descent in Vermont has pleaded not guilty. 48-year-old Jason Eaton has been charged with three counts of second-degree attempted murder. He was taken into custody at his apartment complex in Burlington last night near the location of Saturday night's attack. Police say they found evidence inside the unit linking Eaton to the crime. All three of the shooting victims are expected to survive. Two of them were wearing traditional Palestinian scarves at the time of the attack. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the FBI is still investigating whether the shooting was a hate crime. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the incident underscores the understandable fear in U.S. communities since the war in Israel broke out. The ATF and the FBI are investigating the tragic shooting of three men of Palestinian descent in Vermont. The Justice Department is poised to provide assistance, any assistance that our state and local law enforcement partners need as we work together to protect our communities. When authorities approached the suspect, Eaton allegedly told them, I've been waiting for you, and told them there was a shotgun in his apartment. Eaton's attorney says it's too early to speculate if this was a hate crime. All right, back to Southern California now and developing news in the city of industry where deputies are searching for two suspects who dragged a woman with their car after trying to grab her purse. It happened in a Costco parking lot. Deputies say the woman was dragged.